Bringing IoT devices online creates new opportunities for them to share data with each other, for them to interact with me in more of a distributed way. So there's a lot of excitement about trying to take the vision of pervasive computing, combine it with the internet, um, and bring a lot of these new devices in my environment uh, and connect them to the internet. However, this also creates new ways for people to attack those devices and exposes new security flaws. And there are a lot of concerns. I mean, the, the, the vision that we have for the IoT um, is one in which sort of computers become this part of our uh, daily environment in a way that they're not necessarily so embedded in now. Um, and if that happens, the ability for people to hack into those systems and collect information and use that information against us is quite frightening. So let's think about some cases. So let's say I have a, uh, you know, an IoT toaster oven. Okay, so this is a smart toaster. It's connected to the internet. Um, you know, it uses that connection to download new software updates and to find new toast settings that work well for me and I don't know what. Uh, so, but it's, it's connected to the internet. Um, and so uh, you might think, well, how, how can this go wrong? Like, what could someone do? I mean, the worst thing they could do is they could log in the smart toaster and they could, like, change all my settings so that next time I go to toast and, it, you know, it doesn't forget, it doesn't remember my settings and it makes the toast too dark or something. So who cares, right? I mean, that, that, is that the worst thing that could happen? Um, maybe, uh, but maybe someone could hack into this and rewrite the software so that it starts on fire, right? That would be interesting. It would be particularly interesting if I could light it on fire remotely. So somebody could, uh, you know, detect, like it's the middle of the day, they think nobody's home, let's start a fire in your IoT connected toaster by fiddling with the settings and getting it to turn on at a really high heat or whatever. And maybe you could design it to avoid that. But okay, so that's, that's one potential worrying, worrying thing. Um, Another thing could be maybe I can use this IoT connected toaster to figure out when you're home. That's interesting. Um, you know, I can use, if, if I can hack into it and I can record, you know, when you make toast every day, I might get a sense of what your daily, you know, uh, patterns of, of activity are. And I might be able to time um, a, burglary, a burglary or some sort of other invasion of your home based on this data. Um, so, you know, even something as innocuous as a toaster has attack vectors that I can launch against it. Now, if you start to think about, you know, there's other, uh, there's other types of IoT devices where the attacks are a little bit more obvious. So if I have a, an IoT connected, um, that, I don't know what that looks like. Let me try that again. Um, if I have an IoT connected video camera, uh, in my house, like a security camera that's part of my home security system, that has a pretty, some pretty obvious problems with it. I could use it to collect your passwords over your shoulder while you're logging into your computer. I can use it to collect incriminating information about you, you know, maybe pictures of you in your underwear or something like that. I can use it to determine when you're home. And so, you know, this type of, this type of device just has obvious security issues with it. Uh, but when you think about the new types of devices we intend to try to connect in this vision of the Internet of Things, a lot of them are things that we don't necessarily want people to be able to hack into. Um, and so there's some pretty important security challenges that we're going to have to solve before I think we can really feel comfortable with the idea of all of these new devices in the environment around us being connected to the internet, able to share information, able to do cool things online, but also available for people to hack into.